Hello, before this video begins, I would like to point out, if you've seen my last video, you already know partially how this is going to go. It's just going to be NTSC RS instead of NTSC QT and using child tape model for the audio effects. Now let's get started. Let's go into detail about what this video will be using. We will be using two pieces of software. The first piece of software, NTSC RS. NTSC RS is, is a fork of NTSC QT along with many other pieces of software. NTSC RS is the best right now. There's just nothing else I can think of that is better than NTSC RS right now, other than actual VHS. Second piece of software we're using, Chow Tape Model. Both of these are free pieces of software, so you do not have to worry about this. However, these are the two pieces of software I'm going to be using today. That is universal throughout the whole video. First, download NTSC RS. Scroll all the way down. Go to NTSC RS Windows Standalone. Download this and then extract it. Once you've extracted it, import your video. Being MP4, MP4 is preferred. I don't know if it takes other file types, but MP4 is what it likes using. Then paste the settings that are going to be in the description of this video. Once you have, go to render. Now, it should not have any issues with this. However, if you have any issues, please comment and I'll try and help you. Once you are done with exporting the video, import it into Audacity. To import videos into Audacity as an audio file, you need FFmpeg installed. Once you have FFmpeg installed, you can just go to your Audacity Preferences. If they would go to your Audacity Preferences, go to Libraries, and import the FFmpeg library. You can also download it from here if you don't know where to get it. Now that you have your audio installed, you can either just go to Effect here and do it, or you could go to the Real Time Effects if you have a new enough version of Audacity. And if you have the VST plugin for child tape model installed properly, just start screwing around. Now I do not have a preset I usually use, but you will, if you want, watch me screw around with this or skip to the timestamp on screen if you just want to see my finished settings and my settings will also be in a file in the description. That's it. Now it's good. So, once, you're done with this, once you're done with this, export it from Audacity. Once you have exported both the video and the audio file from Audacity, hopefully it's an MP3, you can import it into API Itemux. Easiest way to do this if you don't want to use any other editor. Set this to MP4 Muxer, set this to AAC Laugh, and set this to MPEG-4 AVC X264. Now once you've done that, go to your audio, 
select audio track, add audio track, and then select your mp3 file you exported. Now, you should have replaced the audio in the video. Once you've done this, save. Let's say, let's save it to my documents as that. And now it's done. Now your video's done. That's all you have to do. This is very quick. This is very easy. There are many ways you can do this. that will take way more time. My old way used to take about two hours. And then my slightly newer but older way took two hours because of NTSC QT's awful when rendering times. But this is much faster. I can get videos done very quickly and it's much easier than using a real VCR. I use a real VCR fairly often, but when I don't want to deal with connecting up a capture card and everything else that goes with it, I do this. Now, enjoy this very short snippet of 50 seconds of me playing Polly in VHS. <laughs>